But I think uh, at a national level, whatever we may say, uh, I would agree that there is a link between uh, fiscal um, policy, mm -hmm. fiscal management and monetary management. Mm -hmm. And uh, the degrees of freedom available for monetary policy in a situation where the debt is high mm -hmm. and the fiscal deficit is a persistent problem, mm -hmm. I think it's a challenge. Mm -hmm. So that is going to ex the, 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 the fiscal position, mm -hmm. uh, if it is not, if it is, uh, it's not only 3% of government mm -hmm. of India, there's a state government fiscal deficit you have to add. Absolutely. So you have to that aggregate government deficit of 3 plus 2.5, 5.4, and our GDP, a lot of it is uh, unorganized sector, mm -hmm. and therefore there may be GDP, but it cannot come under the tax. Mm -hmm. Our tax base is low. Mm -hmm. Already the interest rate is close to 50%. The interest mm -hmm. payments of the revenue of the central government, taxable revenue, tax mm -hmm. resources mm -hmm. are, is almost 50%. Mm -hmm. So the position is rather uh, requires a lot of consolidation. Okay. Now at a time when the FISC is going through the consolidation, the degrees of freedom available for monetary policy framework okay. are highly restricted. Okay. So therefore one has to recognize uh, how it will fan out uh, is, uh, is something mm. that uh, one has to see. So has the Reserve Bank of India boxed itself in with an agreement which says that inflation, price stability is your primary objective and growth seems to be like almost like an afterthought, financial stability, exchange control management, it's nowhere mentioned, exchange rate management is nowhere mentioned at all. The way I look at it is right. fiscal management is important and being aware of the fiscal path, fiscal consolidation path, mm -hmm. which according to all think we have been too soft, quote unquote, yes. and yes. I'll explain why we have been too soft. Mm -hmm. Being that, Hmm. The whole issue is if that is given, hmm. if that is given, hmm. and even assuming that you stick to it, hmm. the capacity that the that fiscal dominance will continue. So that automatically limits the RBI's degrees of freedom. The, the, I mean, what the monetary policy? So that's all I am trying to say. Hmm. Beyond that, I can't say how it is to be handled, what is hmm. being handled, what is the framework. I am not a party privy to anything. Absolutely. But so this so is purely as an observer and with somebody who's actually been there, done it. No, but all I am saying is that as long as it is well handled, it will be all right. In terms of fiscal rule, also you ask for multiple indicators. So likewise in the monetary arena also, should we have multiple indicators? Is, in a country yeah. as complex as India, where you really cannot have just, you know, you cannot be like Arjuna looking only at the bird, at the eye of the bird or whatever it was in the no, tree. No, uh, it's, it's not exactly multiple indicators, you can still have. But in here the whole limited issue is that whatever the uh, target is fixed for a state, mm -hmm. it is enforced by government of India. Okay. Sure. So what all we are trying to do is give flexibility okay. depending on other factors. If that one has to be fixed in, that can also be fixed in by the union FRBM. Mm -hmm. And there will be limited flexibility was given only for three factors which are relevant. So in some ways if you feel if, if there, there is definitely a legitimate case uh, which can be made, which can be made a little more flexible. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash etnow and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at etnowlive. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash etnow.